one way this project has really met the needs of my specific region um, is that we have some schools that are small schools, right? So they don't have a great number of resources. They are oftentimes um, schools that have what we call singleton teachers, right? So there's not a team of similar grade level or subject level teachers. And so this has provided them an opportunity to get some sorely needed um, professional development. And what I mean by that is not that their practices are not great, but they're saying, hey, we want an opportunity to learn with others and to benefit from interacting with others. Um, and this project has afforded them that opportunity. Because it was um, supported by the state, um, schools still have to deal with the um, sub shortage that we're experiencing and just trying to find subs, but alleviated some of the resource concerns for them, and so they were able to fully participate in this project. This is the focus, and, and this is how we get better as educators, by really looking closely at what our students are knowing and able to do. It's not easy information to collect, um, and it takes time, so I'm, I'm really glad that we are focusing and spending the time on these topics. And then what, what I also really like is um, the opportunity that we, as an administrator, have been at each one of the meetings as part of the um, requirements of the cohort. So I have that through line. I've always, I've seen all of the different things, and then we bring in the teachers who have, um, we thought would benefit most from the different topics. And so it's really interesting to see with the different teachers that we've brought in, what they bring to the table that I never knew before because we never got the moment to talk about it. Being on the same page with philosophy and not over assessing kids, right? Figuring out what is that right amount and then what do you do with the data that you're collecting from that assessment, right? Like I feel like there's a tendency to be able to collect all of this information and to test and to test and to test. But I think the biggest challenge then is knowing that we have to pause at different points to be able to say, we have to actually do something with that information if we're hoping to affect change and hoping to be able to support all of the students we have in front of us. So we know that when students um, know what they're learning and why and how they're doing and how they're progressing, that has um, huge inroads in terms of their overall progress. So I think that's an area that staff are taking back to their classrooms now and I think that is a huge potential to really um, enhance student learning across our state.